Are we on the internet? I, I don't so. know, Brian. No. <laughs> I'm not Brian. Don't, how... <laughs> I am just now. I, my feelings are hurt. The stream is cancelled. It does not smell of cabbage in here. <laughs> then would be better option. Come on. Yeah, we're done for today. Thanks, people. Yeah, that, that was a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful session. Mind. Another short one from us, but uh, maybe next week we'll manage to go for more than three minutes. I'm gonna go cry now. Uh... Oh. <laughs> All right, so Look what you've done, let's we? recap. Last week, we managed to kill some manticles. Hey. Yep, that's all. That was it. Yeah, yeah. then, then, you, guys, then you guys that eventually climbed a cliff and took a short rest. And then we came back from a break just long enough for me to say, I don't feel well, and then leave again. So let's pick up from the short rest. You guys have just completed your short rest. Yay. Hey, true. true. <laughs> so, uh, as we complete the short rest, Alison will cast Goodberry. Carefully walk up to Steve, who is Steve still looking super hot? Mm -hmm. I mean, emotionally, if he finds out. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he, he's not looking too bad after having a bit of time to recuperate. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And I guess like the kind, the, the entire elephant deal is kind of hard to read to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm looking alright. Put it that way. Well, someone just walk up to Steve, even. Offer this handful of uh, a handful of brightly colored berries, seem that seemingly have appeared out of nowhere. I'm, I'm sorry for hurting you. I think I did hurt you. That is okay. I think we just learned the lesson of when I'm. In front of an opponent, and you're a bear. Just steer wide. We we become both quite big, and it, it's understandable that you may never have been in combat with me. In in that situation, um, but we can move forward, and I'm gonna gladly accept those berries. And um, is there any way that I could share? Uh, with the group, or is it just something that I... An individual base. Uh, so... So you can hand those out. Yeah, uh, and uh, each each one heals you for one hit point, and um, and uh, counts as nourishment for 24 hours. It's a good berry. Yeah, it's a very mm. good it's berry. Pretty good. Uh, it's not a very good berry, that's a higher level spell. Uh, <laughs> greater <good> berry, berry. <laughs> great berry <laughs> yeah then you've got an ultra berry and then you've got master berry which is what I recommend for legendary Pokemon yeah. <laughs> these ones are just pretty okay berries <laughs> decent <Yeah>. berries <laughs> I'm gonna I'm spread them throughout the group but I'm I'm a because we've got did you say 10 yeah. Um, so I'm um, just see, it, look around, see who looks kind of the most, like, bad, basically. Have a look over people and then hand them out. Yeah. Um. Good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm in great shape too. Half an hour. I actually. That is plus twenty four hours. Oh, cool. Put it in my pocket. Pocket berry. <laughs> there we go. That's a <laughs> it, Like It's honestly it's the best thing about having a druid in the party is... is you have berries. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the best thing about having a druid in the party is the French accent that comes with it. Uh, that's only for tentacle druids. That is true. So, you guys come to the end of your short rest. Whereas, you know, characters from Pepe. Come to the end of your short rest and you start 
making your way forward, or it's getting a little late in the afternoon now. It's sort of half past four or five ish. Steve? Steve? Yes? Um, I think I might have thought you went to the set. <laughs> like, the next time I play. Well, hold on. <laughs> One second. <laughs> you can hear Steve verbally thinking about this almost in his head. Gears turning, sorry. Mm. I would be very wary of your actions because I will try and learn from everything and what have you shown me so far and I'm gonna I'm a break a smile um, at you and I'm gonna I'm invite you to sit down next to me I'm gonna pull out um, a book and would you read with me for a little while? Uh, certainly. And I am pulling out the text that I tend to give to people, and I'm going to spend as long as you're willing, like reading just kind of stuff for you, and very calmly kind of going through stuff. This is where you made a mistake, and this is where you made a mistake, and also this. <laughs> Not at all like that, no. Are you sure you don't have a giant red biro in your one of your giant elephant hands? <laughs> Let me take out my chalkboard. <laughs> I've prepared a small. <laughs> Think of it as a. Um... A power stone presentation. A power stone presentation. No, like if if you were speaking to say someone like a Buddhist monk, where it's very non-judging, um, very accepting of mistakes made and pushing for learning of lessons. A lot of lessons to be learned. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. The branding is important. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, while you guys are having the short rest, you can be going over the book and whatnot. Elizabeth, do you stay attentive for the whole time? Yes. All right. Very much in the case of, I know I done fucked up. Ah, uh, yeah, then, yeah, this penance. Yeah. All right. So... I want to make it make it up to Steve. So. All right. Well, I don't mean to be a bother, but are we planning to stay here for a night? And if not, should we go back after? Or if we don't want to go back and we do want to stay here for the night, shouldn't we set up camp a little bit better and also maybe see what's in the caves? Thoughts. I'm a little bit wary. You could certainly stay the night. Uh, how long would it take us to get back to the the bridge there? Very good question, uh, I'm just working that out. One second. Uh, seven days. What? <laughs> uh, no, I forgot to update the scale on the uh, map. Um, uh, I think that's right. Do, 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 do. Oh, it was nearly right. I forgot a zero. Okay, so you guys are. 
Really not that far away from the bridge right now. About 500 feet. So a minute of walking? <laughs> a little bit longer, but yeah. It's it's visible in the distance, but... Uh... Oh, um, in that case, we don't need to stay that night. Do we still want to explore the caves uh, now that we're here, or do you rather just... Why would we? Explore the caves? Good. Knowledge oh, keeps you safe. <laughs> uh, I I think we should go back. It's we 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 came out here for a reason. There's invisible shadows, as you said, and all these keeps you safe. <laughs> as are just nods enthusiastically. <laughs> like that was an impulse in my brain that said we gotta go explore the caves because knowledge keeps you safe. <laughs> 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 But yeah, Steve catches it in his panic. We should just go. Back. <laughs> we always come back to these caves. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Dog flash. Are you feeling fine, mm -hmm. Steve? Could you make a wisdom saving throw, please? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you automatically fail. I succeeded. No, 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 not too late. <laughs> you succeed, no, no, no. do you? Interesting. I, I hope. Yeah, that was all. Thank you. It's just these caves are the entrance to. No, the Underdark, and there's the Mind Flayers right there. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta laugh, otherwise you cry. Alright, is everybody ready to go then? Everybody feeling fine to uh, get back down and then cross that bridge? Alright, mm -hmm. let's go! I'm gonna look out the cave and look if, if it's safe to get out. Hopefully. Yeah. Sorry, I was just calculating something. Yeah, I saw that you were gone. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. Like, this... anyway. Yeah, uh... I mean, I know how it is. Yes. So uh, you guys were saying how many hit points, whatever thing is has that it's out. But I want to stick my head out of the cave. Okay. See if I can see anything, like look to the sides or down. Yeah, sure, make a perception also. check. Like, you know, the 20 manticles that uh, are now <laughs> pissed at us. Um, uh, 17. Mm, you don't see anything. I think it's safe to come out. Alright. I'm gonna uh, climb Try down to. the edge. Like, come out and climb down the edge. Because it didn't Same. seem like that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't up. that big, big a deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was just a ledge, just a... like it's it's pretty normal for people to drop a distance that is about a, their height and a half, and a little bit more than that is very easy to do. It's just most people are scared to do it. But you guys are adventurers. You've you've done much worse things than jump off a ledge that's twenty foot up. You'll figure it out. It's... Okay. I also jump down. Carefully try to make my way down. Sure. It's easy enough. You guys just take the time that you need to do that. Start progressing on your way towards the bridge, which is about 10 minutes away in the distance. Keep an eye out for anything, even wind, that might suddenly attack us. They're paranoid now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly like out. that. I'll also keep an eye out for uh, beard things. Yeah, sure. I mean, you make your way back to the uh, the gates, uneventful. Walk across the bridge, feeling that shift in the air temperature as you step over the the center point of the bridge, as it becomes much much warmer. You make your way. Back to the Templum Statera, I assume? Where are you guys going? Head back yeah. to the temple. Alright. So, you get to the temple, and... Uh, Madame is, uh, is there.
Oh, I see you're back. Did you find the uh, the flowers? You got them? You ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, Esther, don't you have them? Hmm? Have you got the uh, flowers? Did you, what did uh, you get? Yes, yes. Knowledge keeps you safe. Yes, no, yes, it does, doesn't it, Asda? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he looks very pleased. <laughs> Takes the flowers and starts uh, taking some other ingredients that are laid out on one of the tables already and starts mixing together some some elements. Um, quite a uh, quite a collection of items. There's a little bit of jade crystal that appears to have been crumbled. There's uh, some other little pieces. These flowers are getting uh, cut into small strips and plaited before being balled up into little balls and tossed into a, a pestle and mortar to be ground up with the other things. Uh, while it's doing that, can I try to druidcraft these flowers? Mm. Make more of them. Roll a wisdom check. Okay. That's an eight. No, no, you cannot. I'd make something vaguely similar looking, oh yes. You make something that is almost entirely like them, but entirely not at the same time. Like, it just has less vibrance. It's like a... It's a um, classic flower. Yeah, it's... It, it's... It's like a 3D printed version of something that was originally cast, you know? It's just a less good version. <coughs> But cooler. So it was it eventful when you were your your journey across Wildcliff? A bit of an exciting place, isn't it? Attacked yes. by wind. Fighting is uh You were attacked by wind. Word. Yep. Oh. I Elementals, imagine I would guess. Yes, air, air elemental, yeah, they might they they enjoy they enjoyed the lake show. I probably should have mentioned you seemed pretty capable Hmm. I mean, we knew it was dangerous when we started this. We well, you all came back, back, so that was good. So. Yeah, well, we also uh... big things, you know, lion heads or whatever, scorpion tails. Not nice. Oh. Hmm. No, I can't say yeah. I'm familiar. I do know that people are very careful to go past those first bit, set of caves. Yeah! Look. Yeah, those bit of caves, yeah. Yeah, there's some manticores in now. there is what I hear. Mm. I Do you think that's what know we how many there were? Mm, no, I, the I don't know. I, I think uh, one of the students at the university is studying them for a uh, for something or well, other. Too bad. They're dead. <laughs> oh, oh, I say. Well, three of them are dead. Oh, three of them. <laughs> hmm. I think. Well, I'm sure that's really going to be fun for work. somebody to explain to their lecturer. <laughs> hmm. Should have used a more stable subject. Can we help you somehow with the the ritual or? No, oh, you could plant the rest of these little strips of flowers. It takes ages. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna look at my hands. <laughs> look at the flowers. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the hands. I'm a nurse. <laughs> I'll be like, mm, I don't think I'm made for this one. Perhaps your strength is with the pestle and mortar, dear. <laughs> I'm gonna ex accept the, you know. Yeah, there's a pestle and mortar yeah. there that is almost not stupid looking in your hands, but still a little <laughs> smaller than you would like. <laughs> <laughs> they do have hands I just want to point that out like, <laughs> Luxton's have hands <laughs> They can't they're hold things big. It's just they're very big So, you know, it's awkward Yeah, <laughs> Like restringing a necklace or something Oh god, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, alright so it takes about uh, half an hour planting these flowers. They all go into the pestle and mortar and get ground up even further. And it's strange when uh, you tip out the contents of the pestle and mortar, it, it falls and it falls in a, like a random pattern, but you feel like you can see the traces of these plaits running through the fallen material, which is bizarre. 
Right, well, I think it's time to make some tea. Does anybody want a cup of tea? So yes, please. Please. No, yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, they put on the kettle and begin brewing some tea. They pour everybody a cup of this fresh tea and hands everybody a cup. Thank you. Ah, oh, everyone drink up. <laughs> Literally drinking tea. Literally drinking tea. So, does everyone <laughs> drink their tea? No, I'm, Andrew I'm... will pass. He, he isn't much of a tea person. So I would have been taken a long time. So I wouldn't take a sip, like, straight away. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm going to take a long time. Also, Steve's a little bit bugged by that. He's bugged by something currently going on. And he's, he's a bit precarious at the moment. Well, I'm definitely drinking the tea. Ah, wonderful. Could you make a constitution save for me, please? Yep, that's why I, yeah, I could see that coming. <laughs> I got a seven on that one. Uh, there's no effect to you, Feather. Yep, yep, there it is. <laughs> there's also no effect on you, Arthstar. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Alice oh, no really? effect at all. Not, not, um, not no bad effect, just no effect. <laughs> no effect. <laughs> Great. Uh, I'll, uh, that we can notice. No, I'm uh, telling you straight up, there is no <laughs> effect. <laughs> It's just you tea, know. people drink it. <laughs> no, Mine no, it's <laughs> no, it's not just tea, unfortunately. It just uh, didn't work. It did not. No, and uh, Madan is watching you very closely, Asda. I mean, he's behaving normally. He, he's very unaware that this tea was supposed to fix him. He's just mm -hmm. drinking tea. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how do you feel about knowing now, Asda? Mm -hmm. Knowledge keeps you safe. Mm. And he takes another sip. Well, this is a bust. Sorry for a wasted trip, everybody, but it doesn't seem to be working. What? Why? Yes. Wait, you made that whole well. ritual and then you just made tea? Did you even need all the stuff? Well, I used is the stuff in the tea? the tea, yes. Oh! Okay, I'm not muted. Uh, you are not muted, no, but uh, no, sometimes was... when you're using your Elism voice, your mic does not actually trigger because you're very soft-spoken and possibly you might want to change uh, your noise gate on account of that. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's right. Yeah, Alison will also uh, take a sip. Ah, make a constitution save. Uh, that is a 14. A 14. Remind me, were you suffering under the effects? Yes, I was. You feel a heaviness begin to lift from the back of your mind. This sort of pressing need to know things that you didn't even really notice was there is gone. I kind of lean over and peer into Steve's cup after mine is already. So I would have been in, in my book writing this all down. Sure. Um, like, I, I'm basically not aware of the group at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a little bit bugged, and I'm trying to figure stuff out still. So I'm just writing all of the ritual, everything down. Sure. And by instinct, I'm probably just starting to drink. But Okay, then make a constitution save. That's uh, 18. An 18. Your, your need to know things has been present for most of your life. But it's felt dark the last couple of days. Or last day. But it feels... You feel that grey spot on your brain begin to lighten and match its, the colourful nature of the rest. I have to say, it's pretty good tea. I don't think it really was a wasted trip at all. The 
is very good then. It's a cake leaf. Thank you. What were the uh, names of the flowers and herbs you had involved here? Really blown well, I could tell me. you. But I charge for teaching. Oh. Knowledge keeps you safe. Yes, quite. It also keeps me fed. Um, uh, how much? Uh, about 20 gold. It's a weak course of uh, sort of basic herb herbal what's it? I will hand Steve 20 gold. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um... Um, and I'm not gonna accept the 20 gold straight away. Um, maybe when we have less pressing issues at hand, I will return. Um, I'm gonna hand back the 20 gold because I'm not gonna use it straight away. We don't have really, there, there's more important things in Steve's mind than spending a week learning stuff. Um, he took as many notes as he can. Oh, what Whilst things? He's been there. What things do you have to do? Well, I, for one, would like to understand what what has happened to us. Truly understand it and how we could avoid it. There's strange goings on in this city that truly unholy, and we must stop them. Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, that seems, no offense, a little bit above your pay grade, doesn't it? What makes you I mean... the, the ones to do it? What gives me a right not to do anything? Well, that wasn't what I asked. I asked what you were bringing to the table. Willingness to do it, I don't think anyone else has. Well, I mean, uh, from my understanding, Carol spoke to uh, Countess Maudelin's people, and they seemed quite keen that it should be investigated. I'm sure there are other avenues going. Carol himself is... I, I know it's hard to believe, but actually quite competent in these areas. They, uh, they did contract us to do the investigation of... Hmm. Well, I mean, then maybe you are the ones to do it. I wonder, I wonder what... Hmm. Carol's taken a liking to you folks, and I don't really understand why. It's, uh... I think it's because we just do the tasks that he's supposed to do instead. Well... No, I think it's something else. Perhaps he sees a little bit of himself in you all. Sorry, you really have some really pretty... Yes, I do have some really pretty... Hard work, yes. Your attempt. Yes. I mean, it's the, the stories of the cycles. So... I'm going to do my best to refine this process and hopefully... Do a little bit better, I'm afraid. Asda? He looks over. Have you finished your tea? Knowledge keeps you safe. Uh, yes, kinda... but, but have you finished your tea? <laughs> he kind of he gestures to see the, an empty cup. Yes, well, I shall do my best. And uh, I think it's going to take a lot more of these flowers, but uh, I don't suppose you'd be up for going back and getting more, would you? Did we use all the flowers that we? No, had? no. There's still a lot there, but you had been told that other people have, have been uh, are suspected to be affected by something, and potentially it's this. And if this has worked on some of you, then that's going to be tried on other people also. So we would need a lot more of those flowers. Yes, it's really quite. It's problematic because that's pretty much the only place locally that they grow. It's the. Uh, the left behind magic, you see. Well, what do we have?
have anything to protect us against these air elementals or see them sooner. Hmm. I'd look for, for spots of the air where it looks like the wind is going the opposite direction to where it should be. I'm not, I'm not certain that I can see the wind most of the time. Hmm. I just see it when it's, you know, rustling the leaves and stuff like that. Well, yes, I mean, that would be seeing the wind, wouldn't it? But if it's just standing there where there's no leaves, then how do I see it? I mean, take something that allows you to see it. Well, I mean, your own leaves, dust, you know, you just throw things into the air and see which way the wind's blowing. If it looks like it's blowing the wrong way, maybe it's an air elemental. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Sorry. You just seem so complicated. Alison gives you, uh, gives you like, a um, birch branch full of leaves. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> thank you, Alison. Because, this of course, she has it. <laughs> Probably got that's yeah. a wonderful canter. <laughs> yeah, see, there you are. You've got a bunch of leaves. Are we feeling up for going back there um, tomorrow, people? <laughs> good. Or today, if anything. Because I've heard, I mean, we're already here. It wasn't that. What was it like an hour? Uh, it was like two, three hours. To get now there, and then like two, three hours to get back. It'll be a little bit quicker, but you guys took a reasonably direct path. I mean, once you hit the river, river, you just followed the river. So, um, can before anything, can I spend some time here to investigate these plants? Yeah, I mean, of course. And I will sit down and ritual cast detect magic. All right, you ritual cast detect magic. That takes 10 minutes. It does. Does anybody do anything while Elism is uh, laying out leaves in an arrangement to sort of get this ritual going and whatever? I'm sitting behind take notes. the whole time being like, oh, wow, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also tasting it. <laughs> yeah. There are a couple of us <laughs> there. Everyone is just going. <laughs> Look at the leaves. <laughs> You're all working your way towards That's ritual right caster as a feat. That's what's happening. So... <laughs> <laughs> So you all watch uh, Elism uh, lay out this um, this ritual uh, of detect magic, and Alison, when you get the the magic is popping and the kaleidoscope of the world springs into view, you see uh, some magical items on your friends. And, and uh, just one, actually. Sorry, uh, Featherin has. Yeah, I also cool. have one, cool. technically. Oh, do you? Sorry, my mistake. Yeah. And I also have one, so... Yes, yes, Wait, yes. What, is, what are you talking about? Magical items. Oh. Why? Did everybody get a magical item? I don't no. know. I oh, bought mine. It's just that I bought mine for almost all my gold. Oh, right. That is, that is true. There is a bag of holding that is, uh, that is in evidence. Yes, because, you much know... Is a bag of holding? But that's yours. So you knew that's about mine. That one, I know right? about that one. Uh, it's, you know, it's Sorry? it's just you know to uh, it doesn't you know, get around the problem of having to carry things when you have high strength. That is uh, that is fair, and of course uh, the the tome for Asdar, I think, is the other thing we're referring to, correct? Asdar's little right. book. What are you saying? Your book is magical. Book of Shadows is oh, magic. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you see a few spots of magic lighting up. You see that um, the panels on the walls in this building are also lit up a little bit. Um, with just a very faint uh, hint of abjuration magic. Okay. And the sense. flowers themselves are a... I already used the word kaleidoscope in the last five minutes, but I'm going to use it again. A kaleidoscope <laughs> of colors and schools infusing the flowers. It is impossible to tell exactly what this magic is, but it is deep within the flowers and causing this uh, this intense glow as you look at them. Yeah. Uh, what I want to see is if I can 
is if I could uh, can recognize uh, like the pat the patterning of magic on them to see if it's possible to replicate somehow. Um, make an Arcana check. Okay. Do I have a confidence? I do not. Druids, man. Nature uh, is magic. Nature is magic. That is a 15. A 15. Uh, you do not see a way that you could replicate these. Okay. Yeah, it seems it seems it, 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 it's nothing I've seen before, so it's, okay. it seems it's, unique to... It's not even consistent from one to the next. Okay. So, yeah. I've seen weird magic shit. This is different weird magic shit. Uh, this is not a million miles away from the weird magic shit you're used to, but it's not weird magic shit that you're, you, you, you can comprehend, you know? It's just yeah. okay. beyond your understanding. Okay. Uh, okay. These plants are very magical. Yes, yes, I was saying that. Yeah, I was just seeing if it could replicate circumstances. Mm. Grow. Uh. Potentially. Uh, it's something... It's actually but a very good now. idea. That might be something that uh, possibly Stone Spire could help with. Although, um, you know, maybe don't mention the manticore thing. I mean, it would be a quite interesting new study project for a certain student. <laughs> right? Well, the... Uh, like a good idea? The Aperture Mesoteric is... It's an interesting place. I've been warned of it. Warned? Yeah, not to spend too much time there. Oh, yes. I mean, you, students, you don't want to... You don't want to attract their attention. Bunch of Im immature idiots running around blasting off magic all day long. It's, uh, no, no, no. Most people sort of avoid Stone Spire for that reason. And the students know not to cause too much trouble uh, in the other wards of the city. So, No, I personally don't like the, the man who runs it. That'd be. Oh, uh, that, that would... Uh, he's normally referred to as the magistrate. Oh yeah, we heard of him. We we seen him uh, at the parade, right? No, oh, you went to the yeah. parade. How was it? It was so fun. Oh my god, let me tell you. I tell them all about everything, like the braces and the games and the nachos with the cheese, and then you know. Oh, and then there was this, you know, the guy with the... So the that was pistol. right after? I did not really... I didn't put two and two together. Yeah, oh, Carol's been a naughty boy not telling me everything. Hmm. Well, yes, I, I, he gives me the creeps, personally. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I got the same feeling, actually. Oh, really? Like feelings, it's twin. Just the <laughs> They're clearly sarcastic as they say that. <laughs> Let me look at my inside. Oh, I got a plus five inside. Oh, I wouldn't know. Yeah, that. you're aware that they're sarcastic. Wow. Do any of you know what time it is around? Oh, it's probably about eight o'clock, and I'd say no. Uh. I would like to retire, uh, do some, take prayer, and rest up. You are welcome to use one of our alcoves. Thank you very much. If we can stay here, that would be convenient, if we're going... Oh no, you can't stay house. here, there's no... No, I don't even live here. I was just saying you could use the alcove for, for meditation and whatnot, you know. Well, this is a uh, this is an open place. It's a uh, Lufin is a friend to all the gods, and we welcome any form of worship here. Uh, so I'm gonna step away and be praying for a little while. And yeah, there's like a curtain that you can put across if you want some privacy, and there's like a nice little like nondescript uh, shelf that you can place a, a holy object or some kind of a focus for your meditation on. Yeah, I'm gonna step away and pray and be reflecting now with the the darkness lifted from that area mm. that has been 
so driven in the past to learn lessons to have been so roll a charisma shaken. check A 19. Is there a particular lesson that you're focusing on? Um, I, I particularly want to... What, what exactly... Like, what exactly happened? I want to learn that. Um, Gesundheit. And... Um, yeah, I want to learn learn about what exactly happened to me if I can, some way, um, and how I could possibly stop it from happening. Not yet. Okay. I I'm going to be faithful with that. And just... interesting choice. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm go uh, I do believe very heavily in the mm -hmm. faith that I have, so Sure. I'm I'm going to be faithful with what my deity has to offer me. And I'm a Thank you for the guidance of late. I thought I was taken. And yeah, I'm leaving it on a thankful note for the communication. Sure. It's great. I would like to go to the card cycle for death certificate. Study it while Steve is doing it. Uh, death is not depicted in any of the cycles. Not at all? Nope. Um, what is it? Madame? Madame? Madame. Madame. It's like madam, um, but with an N. Ah, madam. Yes, mm-hmm. I've, I've noticed that you depicted all the cycles that one could possibly think of, but the only thing that is missing is death. Ah. Well, birth is also missing. Well, yes, but isn't... Cycles are about uh, balance, and death does not balance birth. And birth has no balance. And therefore, neither is depicted. So you mean that birth and death are the start and the end of a line and not a circle? No, birth is the start of a line. Death is merely a stop along the way. I mean, yes. Sure. What comes after death? Do you know what comes after death? So I haven't yet to die, but I look forward to discovering it for myself. Um, Madame? Yes? Uh, you seem knowledgeable. Oh, thank you. Um, have you heard of King Midir? Of who? King Midir. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just a no. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I would be happy to learn if you have something you wish to share. Um, I was wondering what's happened to him. Hmm. That's an interesting question. How could we find out? I don't know. That's why I was asking. Hmm, I don't know either. Where is he? I don't know. Hmm. When did you last see him?
me to double check to see if I mentioned about that. Sure. Oh, six months ago, I think. Hmm. And where did you last see him? In Prelate. I haven't heard of that place. Very few people here has. I find it very strange. Well, then I suspect that here is not the place to look for more information regarding it. I suspect that the easiest thing to do would be to go back to the last place you had knowledge of this person and see if there is further knowledge to be gained after this time has passed. I'm not mm -hmm. really sure how to get back to Prelate. Hmm. Well, how did you get to here? It's a bit... because he was panicking a bit at the time. Hmm. It can... Oh, sometimes God. the hardest challenges can be to retrace our steps. And sometimes what that means is that you must forge a new path. There is more than one way to a destination. I guess. Do you mind if I ask you some more questions? Not at all. Um, have you heard of Etain? Uh, Queen Etain. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just a straight no. This this is starting to look like a theme. <laughs> I enjoy that. It, it was again. worse than the first yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be expecting this every time now. <laughs> uh, I see. Um, have you heard of Eokai, the king of Tara? No. <laughs> I'm sorry that I can't help you with your questions, but my knowledge of lands far from here has a large gap in it. I'm quite good with the city, and I'm not too bad with celestial planes. The bits in between... Not really my area of expertise. Mm-hmm. Um, one final question. Have you heard of Fierna? <laughs> no. I can honestly say that I know even less of that name than I do of any other name I have ever heard in my entire existence. <laughs> That's that was a, a one? That yeah, was a one. Oh. <laughs> Alison looks lost and defeated at this. I... I would ask somebody who makes maps, perhaps. There's a map maker in one of the wards. Oh, where is it? Ooh. Uh... In Gadolid, perhaps. Pedrin? Um, Pedrin? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> um, would you mind taking me to this map maker? Not at all, sure, yes. Maps are great, I love maps. Where was that? Sorry. Well, I, I don't know whether you'll have much success at this time of night. Oh, it's so late already. It's already dark outside, people. Well, well oh. yeah, that's what happens at night. Yeah, I get easily distracted. I forgot about the time. I cannot sympathize. This. Yeah. I can this... take you to that map maker changing... tomorrow. Uh, okay, this changing of light is very strange. I was making I mean, a joke, but you sound rather serious, Alism. Are you not used to nighttime? No, not really. 
Oh. Well. Well, I've seen it. It's just that it's difficult to get used to. Yes, yes. I mean, of course. I, I imagine you lived underground, perhaps? N no. Then why are you not familiar with night time? It happens every day. Uh, where I'm from, it didn't. I don't think you're from this plane, dear. Did you know that? <laughs> I keep it. I, people keep saying that. Hmm. I'm not really sure what that means. Well, you see, there are many planes of existence. And this I do know a little bit about, because the celestial planes are obviously an interest of mine as a, a student of religion. And the celestial planes is where, by and large, the gods reside. Um, and then there are also the hells, which are like the celestial planes, but, you know, at the opposite end of the scale, as it were, where other gods reside. And occasionally we'll see gods scattered in between in other planes and, and dimensions, but... Uh, essentially, it's. Imagine if a glass, if you had a glass of water. Okay. Now you could take a glass of water and you could put lots of coloured liquids into it. And each colour would remain separate, but the overall glass becomes a colour that is the substance of all of them, and that's essentially what reality is. And each, if you imagine each plane as one of those coloured liquids, we're all mixed in amongst ourselves. And so in some places, it can be quite hard to tell the difference between two of the colours. And those are where portals tend to be. Now, if you were in a rush, you, perhaps you slipped through a portal without realising. I think you're from a place called the Feywild, by the sounds of it. Or somewhere similar, maybe the Beastlands. Or the Arboretum. There's a lot of planes that you could be from. You're very naturey. I suppose. Hmm. I would recommend trying to speak to somebody uh, up on Stonespire at the Esoteric. See if there's anybody there that can help. They know a lot about planes. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. There are also some druids that aren't far from here. You could try talking to them as well. They tend to be pretty good with plain stuff. They are very into their elementals. Where would those druids be? Oh, uh... Are they nomadic in nature? Just going around? Uh, they used to be. They own a bar now. In a... They own a bar? Yes, they used to be nomadic, but now they own a bar. That sounds amazing. Where's that bar? I would love to. Oh, it's in the base of the mountains between Lariath, Pomfras, and Perpington. We have. I'm. I haven't. We're new to this. Yeah, this. Most of us are. I think all. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well. I get. I could point it out to you if we had a map. We should get a map. That would Alyssa, be helpful. do you want to get a map tomorrow? Uh, well, we have to see the map maker. Oh yes, right. I forgot about that. Right, then we can also buy a map, and then we can come back, and you can point it out. It's about a hundred miles from here, so a few days travel. But uh, those centaurs really know what they're talking about. Those, those what? Sorry. Centaurs. The bar is run by a couple of centaurs and a herd of horses. I just... I just... I don't even know what to say. Alison looks completely unfazed by this information. <laughs> are you not... Do you not... Are you not intrigued to go there? That is that sounds amazing. Ah. Yes, we can go there. I think yes, we have yes, to. we should go there. I mean I have to go there now. Just, just sand horse and horses. A bar. Just yes. sit in the bar. 
I'm sorry? What do you drink? Do they drink beer? Do they drink wine? What do the horses drink? Is it just water? I'm just so intrigued. I have so many questions. Uh, I've not been to the bar. Um, I've had one of them pass through here. Ah, I see. I mean, I'd imagine the horses drinks whatever the horses want to. Do horses I drink would imagine wine? normally it's water for the horses. The centaurs might drink wine. I don't really know. Maybe they drink cider. Or mead. I mean, maybe, 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 and just maybe, they're all individuals with their own things they like. Oh, yes, I, I'm sure they are. I'm just, I'm so interested in, you know, can they physically, like, stomach the alcohol and how much alcohol I'm pretty sure centaurs have five that? stomachs, so yes, I think they were okay on that front. Oh, just... It doesn't mean that one of the stomachs couldn't, you know, be complementary to alcohol or, you know, sometimes, I don't know, strawberries or whatever. You know, some people are allergic and are centers allergic? Can centers be allergic? Can horses be allergic? I'm just, I need a break. I have to sleep. I just need to do this. <laughs> I thought elves didn't sleep. Oh, you know. Sleep. 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 It's easier for people here to understand. Sure. And I do like, you know, the darkness that befalls you. Like, I mean, I don't have to, but I can. No, I, I see. I don't really know about these things. It's Dark Flash, could you make a perception check, please? Uh, sure. One moment. We have my character sheet and click it. <laughs> I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven. Good to know. Why do you keep making him roll that? <laughs> to paranoid me. <laughs> so, uh, I'm. Ge it's getting a little late, everyone. And while I do enjoy the company, and you're more than welcome to visit tomorrow after you've been to the map maker. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we should all go and get some rest. Yes. Yes. Maybe we find people, maybe we find um, an inn that is a little bit nearer to here or the map maker so we don't have to go all the way back. Well, some of you know the place, shouldn't we? Uh, would you like a map of the city so you have a better idea of where the distances that you're talking about? So, uh, where's the UR here? There it is. Oh, that's not a that's not a mouse. So you're currently over here. Yes. See. The place that you've been staying is here. The place that uh, you want to go to, the map maker, is in Gadalid, which is this green bit. And we left where? At the Dwarves' Helm. No, not the Dwarves' Helm, sorry. The Dwarves' Helm? No, it was the Dwarves' Helm. It was the Dwarves' Helm. It's yeah, Carol's Helm. Home. Yeah, sorry, I was getting was it conflated that? with uh, the Hulk's head for a moment there. Was that here? Somewhere? Uh, no, it's where the You Are Here arrow is. That's where the Dwarves' Helm oh, is. Oh, yeah, then we can go back to that. That's. It's actually the midpoint between the two places that you want to be. Yeah, that's, that is very convenient. <laughs> yeah, very convenient. Right, well, I have a few more things to wrap up, uh, if you don't mind, everybody. Sort of. Right. Thank you, goodbye, see you tomorrow. See you later, everyone. Bye oh, bye. Look after Asda. Bye. bye. So, so, you guys make your way to the Dwarves Helm. On the wall, uh, the people who've been studying the stuff, I want to compare notes and see if, as a group, can identify anything there. Um, because I'd really like to, to get that in my pocket to, to, to stop myself from getting messed up in the head again. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Of like, like how the process was done, or? Uh, yeah. So I've taken notes on the process, visual appearance, and all that of the. 
plants and everyone else taking notes on like the ritual that was done to identify them like if we could compare and see if make an intelligence check steve oh rip <laughs> <Not smart. laughs> no. Oh, I take it all back. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a ten. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't think of any reason why this wouldn't work. So, who who all was taking notes on the process? I was taking notes. I was not taking notes. I was just uh, just staring at it intently. Do mental notes count? Actually, no. Actually, no. Sorry, I was. I was messing around with Turingov, seeing if I could yeah, uh, true, uh, create a flower, so mm -hmm. no, I was not taking notes. <laughs> okay, so everybody who was paying attention, please roll investigation. Um, no. Let's see, I'm not smart, I don't want so... To. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not 20. Oh, damn! Andrew's notes, not super helpful, a lot of it. You already caught yourself, Steve. Um, Featherin's notes have a little bit more... What's your actual plus for investigation? Plus five. Not you. Oh, sorry. Steve. Oh, zero. <laughs> zero. Okay, so Featherin uh, has a little bit more detail than you do, and you're able to fill in some blanks. Um... I'll say with the natural 20, you realize what you would have realized if you'd rolled better on the intelligence check, which is that all of the stuff went into the teapot and you have no idea what was already in the teapot. So it is impossible to know for sure what the ingredients of this were. Because you did not have complete sight on all of the ingredients for the, all of the process. I got so excited about rolling in that 20 there. I'm sorry, man. Like, <laughs> if it was so physically cool. possible <laughs> for you to have yeah. known, yeah. then you would, yeah. but. <laughs> yeah. Um... And if All you'd right. rolled it while drinking the tea, maybe I would have let you detect something, but other than that, I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah, that, that's cool. Um, All right. Steve's put his best effort in. Yeah, just absolutely. Just... Yeah. Um, Once we're back at the tavern, I'll just make my way to a room. Sure. Like, yeah, you guys all have separate it. rooms that uh, Carol's arranged for you guys. How lovely. Yeah, the actual rooms for this place are in like a uh, separate building out the back as well. It's like a, it's like a boarding house um, type deal out, out the other side. So Nice, easy, relatively private accommodation. What you would expect in a reasonably nice part of a city. That's nice. Anyone doing anything else before they go to bed? Elson will walk up into mm. a dire wolf and just follow Feather in the Round. <laughs> into a dire wolf. Big... <laughs> yeah, but just be wolf. fucking massive, <laughs> but also really soft. <laughs> oh. So, tell me exactly where and when you're doing this. Um... Just when we're getting, just when we're getting back to the bar and like showing to the rooms, it's just nah, die wolf now. Okay, so like in the in a room is what you're saying. No, just like just like when we're about to uh, go into a separate rooms, it's just nah, die, die, uh, die wolf and follow Featheran. Okay, that's fine. So, will you get through the door? <laughs> technically, yeah. Well, technically, <laughs> technically, if the door is smaller than five foot, it's challenging for a direwolf to make it through there. It counts as difficult terrain, but it can do so. <laughs> the doorway is difficult terrain. It's just lying on the floor, and I push at its backside. Uh, you hear wall. stomping <laughs> footsteps coming down the hall, and you hear somebody shouting, "I'll get ya, beastie!" That's my pet wolf. Uh, my pet wolf. Oh, I gotta get ya! <laughs> Carol comes skidding around the corner. <laughs> oh, God, Crossbow God. in hand. No, no, that's a listen. The druid that can change shapes. Oh, Christ. Hi. Hi. Well. How are you? We've had a day. Oh, I've been. Uh... You know, 
that there's a bar near Perpington that is run by centaurs and horses who are druids. All of them, apparently. I'm not sure. Have you been there? You seem like a guy who goes to a lot of bars, right? No, I, I seem like a guy that would uh, always be in a bar. Yes! But it's usually oh, but just it's the same bar, because otherwise it's inefficient. Right, because if you're always in a bar, then you can't be on the road to another bar. No, and, uh, and also, closest bar good. usually wins. Oh yeah, that's a hundred miles from here. There's a lot of bars in between, I bet. Aye, I mean, you, you could stop off on Perpington in that kind of time. Yeah, yeah. what's a Perpington? I've never been there. Ah, uh, good drinking. Hmm. Anything else? Anything it's famous for? Assholes? <laughs> alright, yeah, alright. I'm not... Okay. Ah, oh, you know, they're just uh, a, bit, a wee bit stuck up. A bit uh, snooty. From your perspective? Well, aye, they're always giving it the... How'd you do and la di da and da cord, whatever that means. Oh, oh. Genex that... says qua. I don't know. I also don't know what that means. That sounds very weird. I'm interested to go though. I do like it. I don't so know. What do you do? Well, anyway, thank you. I gotta, I got to, you know, it's been a long time. Hi. Oh, did you get them uh, flowers? You have any trouble up on the uh, wild cliff there? Oh, you know. Hello. Ah, oh, you did fine. Just what I thought. And he claps you on the shoulder and turns <gasps> around and walks off. Yeah. I, <laughs> I touch him back in the shoulder when he does that. He doesn't even notice. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, damn it! I'm a monk. <laughs> Are you try? Yeah, do you yeah. want to roll a martial arts die on him? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I go into the room. I cuddle up with the dire wolf, and I'm just gonna go through my notes and also write up everything that um, Madden said about you know the birth, death being a line and death just being a stop on the thing thing and also almost everything that uh, they said to listen because that was strangely something that resonated with them pick up something in the back of their mind sure anyone else have anything else they want to do not for me so you come to the end of your short rest your sh short rest and then you long have a long rest, rest oh, wow. and then <laughs> a it's long morning. Rest this well, technically, all long rests start with a short rest, you know? That first except hour. They except they very much don't. But the first Before hour of a long it. rest counts as a short rest if the long rest is interrupted. Yeah. That's true. He seems perfectly point, reasonable to me. Well, take it up with Jeremy Crawford. <laughs> I mean, I would take many things up with Jeremy Crawford. No, no, Are sorry, I would take many things <laughs> up to Jeremy Crawford. You know, my unfound gratitude for everything he does for the game, the flowers, maybe a glass of beer if I saw him at a pub, you know, all the kind. So, uh, anyway. All right. The morning is yours, guys. What are you doing? I'm waking up next to an uh, normal-sized alyssum, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Spooning. Pretty much. Yeah. Nothing unusual here. No. So we should visit that map maker. Um. Yes. Yeah, yes. As soon Good as I've morning. got up, I'm out. Morning. The the pub. Hey, uh, where are you going? Why don't you take us with you? I, I won't be long. Come and get me, and I'll point at the graveyard through the window, and. <laughs> And I'm going to be over there having a look around. Uh, you know. Because <laughs> the, there's been some a lot of weird stuff happening, so I, I would like to have a look around to see anything changed from last time we were here, particularly. Uh, in the um, graveyard? Yes. Seems um, fine. 
Seems fine. Seems fine. Roll perception or investigation, depending on how in depth you want to go with this. <laughs> I'm gonna open this grave and I'm gonna open this grave. <laughs> Are you still in there? Are you still in there? <laughs> Uh, that's a seven. Any other druids hiding? A uh, seven? Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It's like there's nothing. It's like it's exactly the same as it was, except for you know the graves that were broken open and now like in somewhat re- prepared or you know the 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 stone, the stone tomb that were kind of shattered open by the that other knight that burst out the second one. Um, that's kind of just covered over with like a uh, a large piece of tarp right now, but otherwise, yeah, seems fine. I'm watching Steve do that through the window, like, what is he doing? What is he trying to do? All right. Um, I'll walk to the edge of the graveyard, whatever side the the sun is, like, not facing towards. So the sun's, like, in my back, not in my eyes, and I want to look up to the sky and just say a morning prayer. Sure. Um, And, yeah, I'll come back to the bar. He's such a good boy. Isn't it annoying? <laughs> what did two could choose? This bacon is really very good. Steve, you want some bacon? Does Steve want some bacon? <laughs> you um, did, did you title of the session? Does he want some bacon? Does Steve want some bacon? <laughs> no, 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 no. Who is a good Steve? Hey, gonna... Steve, yeah, <laughs> no Stevie it's, snack. It's, it's Steve. Steve want a Stevie snack? <laughs> it's, it's Steve, Steve will be will be eating oh some God. kind of just just fruits, elephant appropriate food. <laughs> Peanuts? You know, what? again, you're not actually an <laughs> elephant. I want to throw that know, out. There. I, I, I know. You are a person. You're an omnivore. You can eat what humanoids eat. Unless you choose to be, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can be a fraterian. You know? No, not in this world. It's not a thing. <laughs> Don't you like bacon? I do like bacon. It's good bacon. Yeah. So, map maker. Yes. I guess we're heading there. Go to the map maker. Yes, I do need a map where that bar is on. Also, I did want to ask them. But oh yes, planes. The plane. Interesting. All right. Did we get the name of the map maker? Uh, oh, we're no. just as a map maker. Yeah. Yeah, they've heard, heard of a map maker. Map they don't have any for, any more information. If you'd pressed for more details, they were like, uh, I don't know, in Galilee somewhere. I heard there was one. All right. I guess we will just have to ask around. Uh, I'm just going to have to ask everybody to bear with me for a moment while I make a lot of noise right next to a microphone. Oh, fair ah. enough. Sorry. You Sorry, everybody. You, I you could. Turn I could have for you guys, but unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have a quick button to do that for OBS. So the stream's dealing with it, so you guys can too, because. Hands. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Next level. Sorry, everybody. So I know it's it's amazing, right? I go to the effort of wearing these things for self care, and then I just get. What is that? What are you doing? It's like. I, I don't wrist know supports. What that is. I have problems with my hands. Oh, oh, it's you like have those problems. Things. Period. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> At least I'm going to be having one less soon. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, that hurts. Oh. <laughs> Slain. Ooh! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. That was low, man. That was a low blow. Oh, that'd be why you ended up at the bottom of your camera. Yeah. <laughs> that maker, then, yes. Ooh, let's go. Where is that? Do we want to go to Medan, Medan, Medan first, and then they can point us out where that everything uh, the Gadolid is? I don't. You know where Gadolid is. You escorted a parade through there. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, I know where Gadolid is. <laughs> yeah, do you, yeah. Do you all want to go there now? Is everybody uh, done with breakfast? Where's Caro? Do you want to come with? 
Hello? You get the impression it might be a bit early for Carol right now. <laughs> he He's too busy. If he hadn't rolled a 19 on the perception check, you wouldn't have seen him last night. <laughs> Um, he saw like... he saw the shape of a wolf go past one of the windows from a window in the bar. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, all right. I think if everybody's, I just ready, want to cast go... my mind back to the parade. See if I can remember if I'd just seen the map maker to try and make our journey easier. Uh, uh you wouldn't have. No, there's no. no. Uh, no. You okay. wouldn't remember. I mean, you can roll history if you want, but it's a pointless roll, so I won't bother making okay. you do it. Yep. Cool. All right. Shall we start making all? Yeah. Who wants to lead? Uh, I should not. I really don't know where I'm going. I've been here a bit longer than you all have. Follow me. Okay. That's smart. I get very easily distracted. Ooh, a bird. <laughs> uh, that's a fair point. Uh, and I'm, I'm offered to pick Feverin up and put her on my shoulders so I don't lose her. Or him. <laughs> or Is it him? Them. Them? them? them. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> don't lose uh, them. Oh, you know? I think I'm going to take you. Oh, I can see so much more from up. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> What's your climbing speed? Pretty fast, <laughs> among things. Um, like just generally, Dexy is fine. You know, there's a lot, lot to grab onto on Steve. <laughs> I can also probably almost jump the distance. I mean, like, he's wearing armor, and armor is basically a ladder once the armor's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just tiles and tiles. I'm gonna start making my way downtown. Walking first. I can't Faces walk passed. that fast. Faces pass. <laughs> and you're map bound. Yeah. I get, um, no, no, that's enough. That's all we can do. We don't want to get copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take the route amazing. down the uh, following the canal. Okay. Just heading straight down because um, that's just an easy route. Um, anything interesting on the way? As you go through Maranao, you're taking the walking route, going this way. Yeah. Anything interesting on the way? I don't know. Roll a perception check. Let's see if there's anything interesting on the way. I would also like to do that from Steve's shoulders. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why I climbed up there. Now, yeah, you can have advantage for being on top of an elephant now, if you like. Yeah. Oh, that's cocked. It's a little better. Uh, uh, perception. 16. Okay. I got a 4 on the roll. My passive is 12. Yeah. yeah, I'm just... I'm not actively looking around. So Yeah, I have no reason as well uh, to actively look. What was the good roll, sorry? 16. 16. Yeah, you didn't notice anything in particular. These canals are really very pretty. I like that. Yes, it is quite interesting to have a city with so much water running through it. It's not something that I would see often where I come from. Where you come from? Hmm. <laughs> know my tribe, where exactly I've placed them, I can't remember. I What's it like there, then? I mean, I'm not very good with this country anyway. Uh, I... There's, there's not many people uh, that follow my religion. It's the main uh, group of people that do follow the religion that make up my tribe. Um, we're called the Namsefni, and Potentially, there might be books out there that people have observed us. We do send out people to spread word of learning. Great benefit of the lessons. So, like, how was it where you come from? Like, 
You see, there was not that much water. The desert then, or just walk around all the time and you so where I come from, it was just a lot of wood. Like everything was wood. I mean we did have some, you know, like some small rivers and some brooks and stuff, but it's just mostly woods in America. In America. And then and then I was in a city for, for quite some time. But now a city life is a bit more exciting than forest. Uh I would say it wasn't, as you say, woods with a few features of small rivers. We we only had maybe one large river, M- many miles away from where it was situated, and it's a laborious walk to to source the a weird word so, source <laughs> the towns the town's water. Um, Why did you not move nearer to the river? We were on a holy site. That, did, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It was just everything, everywhere you looked, holes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most holy site you've ever seen. Like, you've. <laughs> n- nobody's site has ever laid on so many holes. Dumb joke, but I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> All my jokes are dumb. <laughs> All my jokes are dumb. Yes. yes. Wow. wow. <laughs> I am clearly on tired fire. or something. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm not on fire right now. I'm just super hot. So almost. No, I just mean that time only moves when I do. Uh. All right. So. You guys are walking along. At this point, Featherhead, I think you would notice something. What? Are you ready? (laughs) So, at this point, uh, you're uh, walking along, and um, you see this uh, little halfling uh, girl sat on a stool. Looks maybe, ooh, I don't know, 16? And uh, she's got a round face, she's got red hair, large green eyes, she's got a notebook out, and as soon as she sees you riding on Steve's shoulders, she starts scribbling in this notebook that she's got. I'd say that's the only thing you notice as you're going along. Do I also notice that with 17 passive? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I want to 17? Hello! Do it, man. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a shame, really. I've never known a druid to have such a low passive. Yeah, he has a point. Yeah, can I wave at her? Sure. What does she do? No, she's head down, scribbling. She glances up occasionally, and then just head goes straight right back down. Oh. Uh, who are you saying hello to? Oh, that that um, a teenager halfling girl, little mm. halfling girl. Over yeah, there. she's like forty feet away from you, just on a stool, like uh, like nestled into an alley, and just. But in the in the alley over there, as soon as she saw us, she's just started uh, scribbling furiously. I mean, we do make height. I think I'm I'm sitting on your shoulder, so. Would you like to go and say hello? Is it me you're she's looking for? Kind of preoccupied. <laughs> No, she's just wearing, you know, normal clothes. There's a little copper amulet as you get a little bit closer. Are you walking towards her? I... If you... I've slowly started to turn in that direction, but uh, I'm sure. all walking. T- I'm, I'm very casually walking. <laughs> Nelson will walk over. Little halfling. So you wanted to say hello there? Hello, young one. How how's it go? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, I didn't expect you to be quite so close all of a sudden. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw you from up here. Oh, all oh, right. Yeah. Uh. Um. Hi. Hi. Really interested. Can we help you with something? You know, oh, no, 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 nothing at all, not at all, no, no. Mm-hmm. Does she seem 
like kind of caught like like we caught her red-handed oh yeah absolutely <laughs> what you there? Why are you scripting? nothing 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 trust us you know no i can't why not no, i was told not to trust strangers and you're pretty strange riding on an elephant man's shoulders you know you're Pretty strange yourself down there sitting on a stool in an alleyway scribbling away as soon as you saw us. Oh, no, it's just like four of us. You look around and there's like four <laughs> other halflings on stools in alleyways <laughs> <laughs> scribbling in books. What's what you doing here? How convenient. Are you studying? Are you one of the people who study the, at the, you know, spire? No. Um, no, 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 no. I can't do any magic or nothing. Uh, me neither. A punching though. Right. Looks slightly worried and concerned at this new information. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm like get as low as I can without sitting down. To I mean, look a little less. This is a small halfling sat on a yeah. stool. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah. You've so blocked like... out the light of the alleyway. <laughs> it's <laughs> like an eclipse is passing as you crouch down. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could have a look at that, and you could have a look at one of my documents. No, no, it's all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your mm. name, girl? I'm assuming you are a girl. Not yeah, yeah, girl. yeah, yeah, I'm a girl. Thanks for noticing. Uh, I mean... I'm going to go now. I just... Why? She stands <laughs> up, and she picks up a stool, and she starts trying to leave. Can I, um, could I have, did I see anything in her notebook from up where I was? Snapped was shut. Like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it was very much like head buried in it and then snapped shut as soon as looked up to see that everybody was right there. Did it seem like she was writing or was she drawing? Mm, hard to tell. Hmm. Is this normal behavior? No, it's not. Why were there so many of them? You exactly. Over there. Yeah, they've Are all gone really? now. Oh, all everybody's gone. scattered. Before before she leaves us, why won't you share it? Oh, it's mine. And she breaks into a light jog down the alleyway away from you. <laughs> Did I catch her? Oh my I don't god. No, it's just a child. Probably just curious. Can you, if you give her your name? Did you find out where she's going, one of you? I could try. She goes around a corner. Well, listen, maybe follow her as one of your things, you know? Not you, but, you know, weasel form or something. Yes. Right. Suddenly weasel. Scalp right. off the... <laughs> uh, Roll survival. As your weasel. We still have keen smell. Just by chance, give me some. Uh, me Were a you a weasel time, when yeah. the person was there in order to smell them as a weasel in order to recognize that scent? No, no, that is fair. I use my survival then. Is the stool still there, though? No, she took the stool. Alright. Means she's slower. Well, that's a six. Mm. You round the corner, and I mean. Weasels aren't the best for finding people in crowds and this alley, like after the corner, it's just a very short alley and then it's just a, another street. There's people going backwards and forwards. You stick your head out and look and then can't see anything. No sign of where, where they went. I'll just head back to the group then. Oh, I didn't catch that, did you? Maybe I walked around a bit slow. Maybe I should have. Then Steve would have put me down and I'll get up here. Weird. Weird encounter. Whereabouts was that on the map? <laughs> wow, that was... Somewhere... Oh, nope, that's that's not the right... Somewhere... So, somewhere around here. Hmm, all right. It's quite hard to follow the path of this canal um, when you get to this uh, sort of bend, but it's, uh, it's just slower than taking the straighter road. Um, okay. I shall just 
scamper up uh, into uh, Federin's pocket again. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Featherin, you have a weasel in your pocket. That's I'm a very up high up for the weasel. Right. Weasels are excellent climbers, I'll have you know. I... Uh, uh, just what, how much times your height up in the air now? <laughs> As a weasel. <laughs> but, uh, shall we uh, get going? Yeah. I'm not paying particular I'm attention for halfling children. The alleyways. <laughs> with <books. laughs> You're particularly paying attention for halfling children with notebooks. And yeah. Okay. Good to know. Roll perception, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds promising. It's a dirty twenty. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of halfling children with notebooks. And if... it's that kind of time where it's like, you know, like if whatever schooling or whatever there is, there's that's this kind of time, you're seeing some... This is quite a halfling predominant area of Marinau. A lot of smaller buildings. You feel very large. <laughs> Slightly afraid you're going to step on one. <laughs> I think Steve's quietly confident he can manage not to. Whether he's correct, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there are halfling children with notebooks if you would like to investigate them. They are walking places. You don't see any sat on stools in alleyways, though, if you were looking for specifically a halfling Something. child performing that kind of activity. Yeah, like, specifically interested in us. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are specifically interested in you. You have an elf riding on top of an elephant man walking down the street. With the whisk clubs, and you're suspecting, and you're thinking that people are just aren't paying. It. You're also like four times the height altogether than like any person <laughs> in this street. It's like the idea that you're going unnoticed is just not a thing here. It's not. It's not possible. People are paying attention to you. <laughs> everyone is aware. It's impossible to stealth, basically. I mean, you could stealth for sure. All of the people would be able to see you and wonder why you were trying. <laughs> Just imagining Steve like crouching, trying to be. <laughs> Duck and we don't, weave. Don't defend these. Being st still being bigger than most of the buildings. <laughs> Crouched. Did you see the elephant man that is crouching? You mean that over there? <laughs> <laughs> you know how in Skyrim, Skyrim, all you need to do is crouch and you, you're yep. hidden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, really yeah I'm, imagine, I'm imagining uh, Steve now having leveled the shit out of himself to go invisible when, it, when he bends his knees. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright. I think we're just gonna go ahead and go to Gatolid. Yeah, sure. I mean, you make your way to Galilid, you're going across the bridge from Marinau into Galilid, and, and this end of Marinau is like, quite a bit nicer, is it kind of you know, the, the water provides more of a boundary than you're used to in cities in terms of, like, the difference between areas. Um, but there's still, like, a, a gradient as you walk through, as you definitely get to, like, a nicer part of Marinau as you're walking along your journey. Um, and then make your way across the bridge into a, a relatively nice area of Gatherwood. I look around for any signs of a map maker. <laughs> Roll perception. Advantage for height? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Does someone the it's like a DC five. You identify a map maker by the top Sorry? of their head. <laughs> nah, I, I still can hear you the, the laughing, I'm, I'm afraid. That's okay. 18. 18. Yeah, there's no sign of a map maker as you look from your shoulders of your elephant man. His shoulders of a giant. <laughs> Can't see anything. Yeah, it's not like you can see uh, over the buildings, you know. <laughs> You're in a just, street in a very specific part of Gatlin. I'm a, I'm a just turn to like a person walking by. Sure, they look uh, mildly sorry. terrified. Sorry to disturb you. Hello. Did do you know where the map maker is in Gatlin? 
No, I can't say I didn't know there was a, a map maker, you say? Oh, how fascinating. I should look them up. I've been looking for this map I, uh, of uh, an area, you know, around here. It's, uh, sometimes it's very easy to get lost. <laughs> Can you point us to a map just that shows us where the map maker is? Map, map? No, uh, like I said, it'd be great if I had a map myself. Every time I leave uh, this... this, this Every time I leave my street, I seem to get turned around. I don't suppose you know where I'm supposed to be going, do you? Uh, no, where are we supposed to be going? Oh, blast, I don't remember. Well, that over there is Marinau, I can tell you that. Oh, I want to go to Marinau, and he starts striding towards the bridge. Oh, bye. Mother could be of help. Oh, we wanted to help. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, people on the street. I wonder what's going to happen to that guy. So I'm a going to a shop. <laughs> Who was that guy? <laughs> Random dude on the street, presumably. That's, that's what you requested. That. That's what I provided. That <laughs> or he's um, that or he's secretly the BBG or the map maker. Or the map maker. He might Maybe just we can be the find... Sorry. We're all waiting for you now, Featherin, because you're in character and everyone else is just <laughs> meta talking. Okay. Uh, maybe we should find another shop and ask him there, because, you know, shops know shop owners and stuff like that, I guess. Well, I did know a lot of other healers, definitely, and other, you know, other people around with shops when I was a healer, so I think it's worth a shot. Solid idea, and uh, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm a let Severin off because Ooh. getting into a shop with <laughs> that might have been difficult. It's already harder, oh, so you know. It's already pretty difficult for you to go into most shops. Fortunately, <laughs> Gadalit is a place of grand scale, so it's much easier here than it was in Marinau. <laughs> <laughs> it tends to be double doors into places <laughs> and browsing space. Instead of just a door into a room with a counter and then another room behind the counter. <laughs> <laughs> that might hurt. Can we go into a shop that we see? Sure. Like that seems well organized. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a huge number of shops in this particular area of town. It's pretty residential. Um, but there's a, a grocer and a butcher on a corner. I would like, I don't know. What do you think, grocer or butcher? I'd, I'd say butcher. But oh, you could flip a coin. <laughs> I, I don't. I just. I don't. I don't know if Steve is comfortable with that. I. I. You know. Being not. Flesh. I. I don't think anyone eats flesh. Of what do you think bacon is? A different kind of meat. Meat is flesh, though. When people do refer to flesh, they refer to um, people flesh, normally. Oh, I see. I thought bacon could only be conjured by certain sorcerers or wizards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've heard these stories, but... Anyway, let's let's go to the butchers. My choices need not impact your lives. And the, I'm a the fifth level spell, Conjure Bacon. Uh, it's actually a first level spell, and it's called the Ralapyros Entree, and it was finished yesterday. Hey. Wow. Oh my god. I'm dead. Which is why Shelly's losing it a little bit, because, you know, that's just oh my god. very much a joke from yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's, I mean, the bacon thing has been a running joke for almost a year now. So. That. <laughs> Not True. almost a year, it's about six months, but sure. Yes, it's been going for That's a while. That's almost a year. That's almost Only a year. when rounding up very generously is almost six months a year. I'm rounding up in years. Uh, well, look. Look. 0 0.5 rounds up to 1. Yeah, I was just going to say that. It's the same thing. <laughs> Mathematically, this works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 0 0.5, however, is not al almost half. So you have to round up generously in order to get to the 0 0.5 and then round up again <laughs> to get to 1. 17 episodes it was, though. Yeah, it's, it is like 50 hours of game time, that is true. Anyways, butcher, bacon. Okay, so you're you're looking for bacon. Baconator. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going in and I'm distracted by bacon. <laughs> okay, I'm so delicious. you go in and there's a uh, a a male dragonborn behind the counter, and he's got uh, black scales. And he's wearing a, an apron and some some leather trousers and uh, some thick leather gloves. And he's holding a very large knife as you walk in. Hello. Oh, that seems dangerous. I well, like some uh, bacon. I'm sorry. I would like some bacon. Do you have any bacon? Uh, I do sure. indeed have some bacon. Let me carve you some away. Thank you. <laughs> Could anybody else go in with me except for... I mean, I was in your pocket, so... <laughs> sure, I'll join, but I'm just looking around currently. Seeing hey, the wares. Uh, how much bacon was it? Uh, I didn't really specify it. Um, no, that's why I'm asking. How, how much does it cost? I want, like, a good handful of bacon. A handful of bacon it is. My hand or yours? Uh, yours. All right. <laughs> with gloves or without? With the gloves. The largest handful available, then. Jolly yes. good. And he takes a... He sliced these bits of bacon and he just sort of... Picks them up on the knife and just... <laughs> <laughs> and then onto a scale. <laughs> Puts them into a bag. That'll be four silver. Here you go, mister. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Anything else I can help you with today? Uh, yes, sir. Could I... Could I just ask, uh, briefly, do you know of the map maker in this part of town? Uh, where I could find that? Not much cool for maps um, in the butchery business. Okay. And, um... Could I also get, uh... One of your nicer cuts of uh, steak. Yes, of course. I would like to prepare you guys something in my homeland later. And Ooh. I'm going to pay for a couple of cuts of steak. Sure, uh, yeah. Like, we'll grand. say mm, 15 silver for, for the lot. Yeah. And I'd also like to pop into the grocer's next door. Just sure, sure. Um, uh, hello there. Hello. Um, um I see um, you're quite tall, aren't you? Uh, I would say it the opposite way around, but yes. Yeah, uh, this is a uh, quite a short elf. He's uh, <laughs> looking up at you. Um, I'm gonna get an assortment of what potentially are exotic vegetables here. So looking for things. That that are, I'm I'm winging making that bit, mm -hmm. um, but sure, like sure. something more exotic kind of vegetables from like around um, more Hi. tropical kind of stuff. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's uh, quite a list that you've got there. Um, I don't think I have it all, but perhaps we can find you some good substitutes. Yes, that would be wonderful. Um. All right, she just swings out I... into the back. <laughs> ah, too late. Box the question. She swung out into the back. Uh, anyone else in the store? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, a couple of people that are just sort of like taking stuff and putting it in paper bags, and slowly a queue is beginning to form behind you. It's pretty busy. Early in the morning, you know, it's like ten, ten sort of time. So it's the time when people go out and buy vegetables, I guess. Anyone know where I can buy a map? I'm just addressing the crowd now. I'm pretty big, so I'm sure they can see. I'm <laughs> turn and looking at all of them. Oh, I say, chap. I, I believe that there is a now map maker in Gadolid, but I don't know where. That's the information I've received so far. Yes, Any... yes. That's what I've heard. I've been looking for a map myself. I'm looking for a... Uh, I have some... Uh, I... You know, we've got a, uh, a little country estate out in the uh, 
on the outskirts of Perfington. We're sort of looking for somebody to map it out for us, but haven't been able to find anybody yet. I was hoping that I'd be able to engage this map maker that's apparently in Gatalit now, but unfortunately, it appears that nobody knows where they are. Isn't it mysterious? I do love a mystery. It keeps me occupied. It sounds like we both have the same goal. Uh, once oh, we perhaps we should join forces. Ah, it seems like it could be profitable. Share our knowledge, get our maps. I don't think it's going to be profitable. I rather think I'm going to be out of pocket by the end of it. Map making can't be cheap, am I right? Ah, that is true, but there is value in more than just currency. Oh, is there? Yes, there is. Ah, fascinating. Of course there is. I found that everything of value I have has come from the currency, so I sort of see it as the root of all of it, you know? That's just an interesting point of view. Maybe throughout our day we can talk about it. I would love to. If you'd like to join. I have a small group of us. Uh, oh! We're all looking for this map maker. It's, uh, <laughs> wow, the, I, I didn't realize I was joining a retinue. That was, oh, that's... I I'm say it's like a quest from the stories. <laughs> uh, just to oh, describe yes. this guy, just to just to take it back a step. <laughs> this guy's a uh, a pretty tall gnome um, who appears to be wearing platform <laughs> shoes. Uh, he's got a uh, a wonderful ruff uh, around his neck and uh, it, and has a bow tie nestled beneath it and is just turned out very nicely. Very very expensive clothing, um, a mix of multiple fashions from the past however long of this area and appears to be sort of that person that uh, has expensive clothes but has no idea how to put them together. Ah. And also doesn't appear to care that he doesn't know. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Uh, my name? Yes. <laughs> Give me one moment while I find the name of this gentleman who I have now forgotten. <laughs> yeah, you awkward. Had this description like off the top of. Your, but... Well, yeah, I remember what he looks like. I don't remember what his name is. You know how many? Do you know the name? Do you know how many I... names that are in my head? <laughs> like it is not a, it is not a small number. Not a small number at all. Uh, hang on, it's. That guy was just distracted. Uh, da, 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 he pointed out da, da, da. to the window to the. <laughs> my name, my name, Wait, my how name. tall of a gnome is he? Uh, he's so it's hard to tell because he's wearing platform shoes. Um, but he's coming is up he nearly because. Is he tall because of the shoes, or he's you is he wearing the... shoes? So, so he's like approaching shoulder height of like a a normal height human, you know. So wow. he's like. Maybe yeah, five eight, five five nine, or something. He's tall for a gnome, but feels like he's accentuating it as well. But the nose <laughs> and the ears—they really give it away. Um, mm. right, it's Bulbem Twosselfoff. You see why I had or... to look that one up. <laughs> I already forgot it. <laughs> yeah, I'm Steve. Well met. Uh, I'm well met. My rather huge hand. Yes, you're very tall. Yes. I'd like to be that am tall. I, am I mistaken, or are you a no? Because you are very no, tall. No, I'm a human. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Intriguing. That is... And, and... <laughs> is he lying? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just outright yes. There's no rule. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> ah. It That's looks quite hurt, the suggestion. That he's a, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, um. Hmm. Excuse me. Are you an elephant? <laughs> See, it's not nice when somebody does it to you, is it? I would understand the mistake because I have acknowledged what I look like. Have you? So, this place you want mapped near Perpington? Yes, yes, country estate. Been in the family country. for generations. 
Two, ah. to be precise. <laughs> well, that that is floral. Um, that's wonderful. And how far from Harpington is it? I've heard of a small bar there. Uh, uh, it's about uh, 20 miles northwest. Ah. And do you know of the, the bar near Perfington, ran by druids that have set down in our, that's also centaurs? The, the, wow. I mean, that's I a know. lot of, that's a lot of. Yes. Uh, uh, normally when bars have a theme, they just pick one. I, like the uh, dwarf's helm. Just one. D- d- dwarf's helm? You must know the dwarf's helm. It's the most say. famous dwarven themed bar in the city, according to my friend Carol. Can't can't say I have no. Ah, well, all right, all right, all right. I've got nearly everything. Ah, wonderful. And I did thank my best much. I could with druidcraft on that last item. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, That'll be much... two gold. Ah, my hand over the gold. Oh, um, All right. Thank you. <laughs> Steve is not as not as intelligent as some of my other characters. So uh, your your like new that, human so. friend leans in and says, "I think you might have overpaid there, old chap." Uh, it has more value than fruit to me. Right? Has it? Yeah, it. It has. Right. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, rather. Rather sure. Oh, okay. If you say so. Sorry, what was your name? Uh, Steve. Steve. Oh, that's easy to remember. You look like you'd have a very long, unpronounceable name. I... I do. <gasps> you didn't tell me your real name? You lied to me? I'm really joking. I didn't tell you my name, real name either. Okay, I did. I just wish it wasn't my real name. Ah, well, my full name is Fulta Command Elven, and it is rather right. a mouthful. That sounds a little you foreign. Can s- see why I use? Yeah, not from around here. Oh no, oh. I'm. The name gives it away. Rather far away. Steve helps with the. Integration. Right, right, yes. Because other people are too stupid to pronounce your name, I understand. Yes. Great. Well, should we go and look for the map maker then? Yes. Oh. Uh, oh, and you can introduce it. me to your friends. Yes, of course. And um, so it was two gold fifteen that I need to take off. Uh yeah, which is three gold five. <laughs> okay, cool. Three gold cool. fifty if you're doing copper for the second number. Um, yep. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a go out to hopefully the are the group still on the butchers. What are you guys? I would be outside, outside, like outside. waiting. Yeah. Uh, there was actually something I wanted to do while in the butchers. Sure. What would you like to do? So, being that, uh, being that. Uh, Weasels are in fact ferocious carnivores. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometime, du- uh, sometime during this, uh, during the our uh, time at the butchers, mm-hmm. I would have tried to sneak out of uh, Federin's pocket and mm-hmm. just grab a piece of loose meat. Roll a stealth check. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to do weasel things. <laughs> the risk is for the biscuit. Yeah. Or some idiots in this case. Let's see. Let's just use rat stats. If I can find them. There we go. I thought there were weasel stats. They're no, they're not stats. specific weasel stats. There is. There is there actually. There is weasel stats, yeah. There is weasel stats, is there? Yes, there is! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> You've not been rolling was... weasel stats this whole time. No, because I thought they didn't have weasel stats. And rat stats are you know. worse. <laughs> so. Yeah, weasels are great. Yeah, no, you just got a buff. 
It's a familiar. Yeah. <laughs> of course there's stats. It's it's a listed familiar in the player's handbook. We find familiar. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's literally, in fact, actually, it's not in the monster manual. That's probably why you thought there weren't any, because it's in the player's No, handbook. they are in the monster manual. Oh, they are. Oh, wow. Well, there yeah, you go, then. I'm Duplicated. I'm monster manual. Yeah. <laughs> well, now that we know that weasels exist, enough. what did you get on your stealth check? Uh, what did I what I got to my stealth check uh, was a, a uh, it was a whole twelve. A twelve a feather in there is a weasel leaving your pocket. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh hi. Where are you going? Where, where are you going, Alison? Uh, yeah, what's that? What's, what's that? Where that? That's my weasel friend. Uh, this is just a, a a human who also works in the butcher's. <laughs> hey, get get away from the glass. He's gonna, get, he's gonna get all smeary. Put it back in your pocket. I tried to pick up. They're voracious. They're vis, vis, for, for, They're like eating meat. <laughs> <laughs> Word. You almost had it. I, yeah, I, I like. I also like bacon. Yeah, well, weasels don't normally pay. Is my point. Give him some of your bacon. Oh yeah. Oh, do you want some bacon, Ellison? Oh, that doesn't sound like a boy's name. Sorry, sorry, Weasel. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I give her a list of some of Okay. Sure. You have to have the pocket naturals. Yeah. Yep. There's also a pocket berry in there. It's not It's not magical anymore, but it's there. Yeah. Oh, no, it would still be magical. It lasts 24 hours. No, it's water still, because it lasts uh, It lasts hours. a day, technically. It lasts yeah. a day, so okay, I would fine. say it's not, but... Okay. <laughs> Now it's just a normal day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will happily take some pocket bacon. So, what are you guys doing now? Well, you I'm done with the butcher. We you got be... more shenanigans you want to do with the butcher? <laughs> I'm guessing we're waiting for Steve at this point. Okay, so it takes I a mean... couple of minutes because Steve was in there for a little bit in the the grocer. And um, you guys are just waiting for him to come out. And then he comes out and he's followed by this gnome that's sort of five foot eight, nine in his platform shoes. He's got that you're weird. Human. Wow. I do mean human. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> totally human. He's got platform shoes and, uh, that are so high that he's as tall as me. As you guys, as as uh, Steve, you and your your new friend Ball Bam are uh, walking out of the the room, uh, the 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 grocer. You, uh, uh, he leans up to you, and is are those your friends? That's strange lot over there. Yeah. Hello, Steve's friends, and he marches forward, hand out. Hello! I'm Bullbem. I'm joining your quest to find the map maker. I'm Featherin. That's Alyssa. Oh, yeah. Alyssa's in my pocket. Oh, okay. Do you want some bacon? It's not cooked, though. Uh, I do prefer my bacon cooked. Oh. I, I don't mean to be rude. That's the rest of us. Ah, hello, everyone. Hello, I'm, I'm Andrew, and I give him a hand to shake. Hi, Andrew. Knowledge keeps you safe, and he's also... That it does it. indeed. <laughs> Knowledge keeps you safe, friend. I look him over for any sign of, uh, like... Uh, Make a perception uh, check. <laughs> oh, God. Cocked. Oh, oh, natural 20. You said it was cocked and there was not time for a... Uh, fine, it was a natural 20. There is indeed an inkle of Samka on his sleeve. Just a little pin. Just under the cuff. Just just sort of this What area. does he smell like? But make a perception check with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that defeated uh, tone of voice, I know it well. <laughs> um, that's a natural 20 for a 27. He smells like a grocer's. I'm very glad I spent a t spent an hour twenty to figure that I'm out. I'm also extremely glad you did that. <laughs> Worth it. Another nat twenty wasted. Dog flash. Yeah. Could you roll a wisdom save for me, please? Oh my god. God damn you. 
<laughs> One moment. I'm anxious for him. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's something. <laughs> for Dean. Good to know. I feel like because everyone already did that kind of wisdom save, I need to like do it until I f or something happens, basically, is my guess. No, not at all. Well, that's my oh, guess. Oh, yeah, well, it's oh, wrong. Died on. It could be skied on. It's very possible. Could be scrying. Could be something else. You don't know. When it's relevant, you'll find out. Don't yeah. send me messages on Discord when I can't use Discord to because oh, of the cameras. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking at it on my phone now. Don't send it somewhere else as well. That'll just be annoying. <laughs> I was joking, Shelley. I did not need a picture proof of your natural 20. <laughs> I was, intentionally, for amusement purposes. Also, if, if you were lying about it, it's not like you could have faked that picture. I mean, I trust Owen to know that I wouldn't fake a picture. I mean, I trust but you to not... Yeah, but you wouldn't lie about it in the first place. Like, the picture isn't any more proof than you just saying that you were telling the truth. You hurt your pride. I stand by what I did. <laughs> you don't even own any lions. I, no. You hurt the pride last time. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Hello, Steve's friends. So, what's your names? You already said. Did all of you say? Yeah. Fair enough. Except uh, Asdar. Yeah, yeah there you he go. didn't. <laughs> what's your name? He talking. He's talking to Asdar. Yeah. You just said knowledge keeps, keeps you safe. Ah, oh, that's not your name. That's just something we say. Is that a uh, translation of Elism? Yeah. Into, I'm guessing, Weasel? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, brother, if you won't tell me your name, you could at least tell me who recruited you. Uh, he's not recruited, actually. Why? Said knowledge keeps you safe. I thought he was one of us, one of the reclaimed. Same, I, he's more a, influenced, I think. We have an mean, influence conversation with uh, Leonardo, the douchebag. Leon That's Leonardo. <gasps> Leonardo! Oh, isn't he wonderful? Bag. He's just great, isn't he, Esther? Knowledge keeps you safe. Exactly, exactly. Knowledge keeps you safe. I think we should find this map maker now. And I'm I'm pointing the south, the southern direction, like the area we've been moving in the direction of, and just keep going that way. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to brief swiftly move this conversation away from that topic for now. One day I'm going to be as tall as Leonardo. <laughs> yeah, for the record, Adam is just in in Federer's pocket, get growling and glaring at this uh, totally human. He's rather an imposing man, is he not? Uh. Just for the well, sake of my sanity, um, if I were to cast uh, Detect Magic, anything unusual? Nothing unusual. Alright, I'll just have it all on for 10 minutes for now, unless, you know. While he's being distracted daydreaming, can I kind of like... Look at him a little bit closer if I see anything that indicates that, you know, the same thing happened to him as that happened to him? Make a perception check. Well. Okay, uh, I would like you to describe the visual phenomenon that Featherin has previously noticed in people under this effect. Uh, the... Words. 
kind of forced uh, knowledge keeps you safe. Uh, something isn't right. Yeah, like he's thing, displaying you know, all like of those signs. Of, yeah, there, absolutely. Like you already no, knew I that. Meant more <laughs> distressed than that when you know. In what sense? I, I don't know like, what you mean. Like in a in an unnormally focused on. You don't have a baseline to decide. Okay. Like you've got Asdar in your company, you're really going to try and judge other people's <laughs> susceptibility no, to this. <laughs> I think I think you'll find that Asdar has skewed you completely, and you're like, "Wow, this guy's super functioning, considering." <laughs> I meant more like a, a Steve sitting down and being like, "This isn't right. This isn't right." Everyone's had a much and such their own approach to it, other yeah. than the occasional unexpected knowledge keeps you safe. Well, he definitely had a run in with Leonardo, so. Not that much. You know, oh, Pepperoni. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, my dear. What were you going to say? Here we go. Uh, we can talk on the road. You can, I can hang back and you can ask me whatever you want to do. Yes, talk. yes, I should go. See you all later. See you, and bye. he turns and just walks off. What about the map maker? Oh well, well goes, makes more is... sense if we look in different places. As he walks off, I'll give him a nod. Knowledge keeps you safe. Knowledge keeps you safe. You hear three that other voices nice. repeat. Knowledge keeps you safe. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my knowledge god, keeps you everywhere. safe. Knowledge keeps you safe. Well, we find a way to find out who's been, you know, who's one of those guys. Really easily. He said something about he's looking to map a recently acquired family map uh, near Perkington, and I thought it might have caught her attention in a lighter note because of that bar, but it seems that this knowledge we have is far from keeping us safe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that guy. I like none of the guys, actually. Right. I thought we could have got closer to him to understand the problem. He could have been an easy way in. Well, and... that guy over there also screamed, knowledge keeps you safe, so, you know. Country estate, you say? Wondering. He said it was to the northwest of Burpington, about Burpington. twenty to twenty-five miles. Ah. And I'd heard the name when you was getting excited about the Santor Bar, and he was also quite intrigued. It does sound like a great bar, doesn't it? That's not the point. That's not the point. Focus. We should try to get to that map maker. And we should really talk to someone about all the new recruits. It's worrying. Can't help but think that those little halflings also just kept tabs on us, you know? Some of them. I mean, if it's spreading that fast, we can be certain that, you know, impressionable people, well, people more impressionable than us even, like young people, are even more easy to wait, follow them. Do you know much of their religion at all? I... From... That meeting, it was really the one of the first encounters with the followers of Semka that I had had, and even though I've reflected on the events, I cannot think of much more. Well, I've only read a little bit about Semka, and I know that they reclaimed our sect, and that there are other sects. Something with H. That's it. That's like so. I know that Semka is one of the bigger gods here, but I don't think that they reclaimed our good example. 
I'm not sure though. I, I'm really new to all of this. That's that's like only what I've heard in like TikToks or something like that. Hmm. With my however bad my TikTok. Uh, Steve doesn't have much more to discuss about this stuff. He was thinking about going to a temple of Semka, but he's like worried that actually the reclaimed is all there is. Like in this area. Um so he doesn't want to go experience that again. <laughs> he wants to stay away, even though he wants to go learn. Um the map maker. Oh hang on a minute. I do know something else. Uh I, I definitely know I saw the Countess also having one of those signs, and I think I asked Carol about it, DM did I? You did ask Carol about it. He said that she was just one of the normal followers of Semka, right? Yeah, I mean Semka's actually a pretty rare god to be following. So oh, it's one of the sorry. misfits. So this is actually quite a surprise to have such a wave of people that are kind of getting into Semka. Like most nature. places don't have a temple to Semper, a Semka, you know? And temples to Semka, when they do exist, tend to be inside temples to other gods. So that Countess is also one of the followers of Semka, but not one of the reclaimed, so... As far as you know. I don't really know more, so... I think we should investigate as cautiously as possible and not give away any information we have freely. I think there's something much worse at play here. You heard there wasn't just Asdar afflicted. There were others. And I feel obliged to do something about it. Let's get that map and maybe find somewhere a bit less public to think about this. Uh, I believe we can find the place for that. Okay. Uh, I have run out of ideas of trying to find the map. Why? Uh, who's taking the lead on the search for the map maker? I mean, I would. Roll investigation. Not your post. Oh, bad. Well, you having trouble finding the map maker? It's new in town. Lots of people know that there is a map maker. There's definitely a map maker. But nobody seems to know where. They don't appear to advertise. This is so it's as if he does not want to be found. <laughs> it's a pocket dimension. Which is worse. Honestly, with all the... Oh, he knows so much about that other... I wouldn't say... Well, actually, um, the map maker was recommended to you when, before it was established that Alison was from a different plane. True. But then they also said that they know a lot about the planes. Right? I don't think so. That was... That was the... Um, that was the people at the, the, uh, the esoteric. University. Yeah. Oh, yes. <clears throat> You're literally looking for the map maker in order to find a bar. <laughs> 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 well... Madden said that we should ask the map get maker in get in get a lit about the stuff that Ellison was asking. Yeah. So they maybe weren't as clear as they could have been after Perpington it. <laughs> and that estate now also near Perpington. I just want a map. Mm. At this point, you see a couple of clerics hurrying past. They appear to be looking for somebody. Clerics to what god? Um, they they looks like they're both to talk. Okay. Pretty common. And how much of a rush? Like full sprint or just? Oh, uh, they're hurrying. Jumping. They keep stopping. They're looking down alleyways. They see the group of you and you come rushing up. 
Excuse me, have you uh, seen a uh, man? Probably seemed quite lost. Oh, yes, I sent him to... Uh, m- what's the place we're from again? Where's that uh, bar? To, to Marinal. Oh, Christ, he's gotten across a bridge, everyone. Everyone, he's across a bridge. And they just sort of continue on. And, like, a couple more come out of alleyways. And... What's uh, going on? He seemed to be searching for something, though. What? What's happening? No, they're I too busy. I searching for the man. They're too busy, okay. That I sent to Marinel? Yeah, they, they carry on. and You see them disappear around a corner in the direction Do of the bridge. Where the map maker is. <laughs> 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 all right so this is when you start looking for the man maker and it takes a couple of hours you find that there's no real results um that you're able to gain with the 12 that you rolled i'm afraid it's a secretive yeah. person it's staying out of the light as it were it's a little bit stupid when you're a map maker gotta earn your money somehow but... <laughs> um, shall we check the un- uh, check the university then in stormspire Oh, yes. I do I want guess. to eat something in the middle somewhere. I'm hungry. Ooh, I got bacon. Oh, but the bacon's not done. I can cook the bacon. Oh, you can cook the bacon on the way? Oh, yes. Oh, well, listen. Snap my, <laughs> snap my fingers. Again. Uh, snap my fingers and uh, produce flame. You cannot cook bacon with produced flame. No. What? It doesn't produce heat. It can says, we go over this last time? Like, Continual That's flame fire. doesn't, but produce flame does, because produce flame is actual fire. <laughs> fire the damage, flame remains quick. there for the duration and harms neither you nor your equipment. The flame sheds bright light in a 10 foot radius. You can also attack with the flame, but that will end it. So you can be con- constantly casting produce flame and f- throwing it at the bacon if you like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, make a ranged spell attack with back. disadvantage, <laughs> because I assume you're oh in five God. feet of the bacon. Do we, um, do we have a pan or something? I might have um, a tinderbox. Oh, I, I can just light a fire. Yeah. Oh, that no, would take attack forever, the bacon. Though. We can just go somewhere. We can just go somewhere and we can eat there. Fine. There's all these, this is like a food vendor everywhere, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the smell of bacon's I, I, going from five different places. You're like, no, this is my bacon, and I'm gonna cook it. <laughs> my bacon. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, I <clears throat> could also just cast good berry again. Oh, I got the berry. It's <laughs> 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 not bacon. <laughs> It's just bacon. It was just a berry. That is about yeah, as filling know. as a berry is. No, it's actually it's supposed to fill you completely. If you eat it yeah. in the original day. Which is we're still at. Well, right? no. Oh, usually yeah. when it says uh, last for a day in D&D, it's until dawn. Ah, fair enough. So that's... Yeah, otherwise it says 24 yeah. hours normally. I could just cast that again so we can all have a berry and be full for the day. I don't believe we need to. Or do we? I mean, there's food available. You guys can eat. And it's, that, you know, it's one of those bodily needs that I just assume gets taken care of unless we decide to go deep on it like we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could yeah, we're going to eat something. And then we're going to go to the... Like, we was just... You'll figure it out. And at this point, I think uh, we're actually going to leave it because I'm still a little unwell from last week. So, uh-uh. I know. I'm sorry, guys. It's a short session. It's just sort of two. It's two fine. Hours. It's fine. But, uh, I think we're at a pretty good like stopping point. You failed in your search for the map maker, but maybe something will come of that later. There's some interesting new threads for you to pull on. It's quite exciting, guys. You're starting to see a little bit more of the shape of the city. What are people are like? There's weird halflings running around with notebooks. There's a guy who thinks that he's a human, but is clearly a gnome. There's, there are full of people. They're full of reclaimed Simka people who are creepy as fuck. They're not creepy. They just think that you need to know stuff to be safe. They're I mean, fucking yeah, creepy. I mean, creepy. Knowledge keeps, they're you, the safe. knowledge keeps you safe. That's right. Asda knows no, what's no, up. No. <laughs> knowledge keeps you safe. 
if the if the only person who agrees with you is the insane warlock, that's a good indication that whatever you're doing is not sane. <laughs> yeah, that is totally fair. But uh, we'll be back next I... week with more yeah. more lessons to be learned. <laughs> Unfortunate. Everyone say bye, Twitch. Bye. Bye, bye. bye Twitch. Oh, we have a YouTube channel. Check that out. There's another campaign on there. There's all the episodes of this campaign. It's it's a whole thing. Bye, Twitch. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Should have maybe said the name. Did did everyone say say bye? <laughs> bye. Yeah. Everybody said. Everybody did. I'm I'm just checking <laughs> that everybody did. Did everybody say bye? Yeah. Bye, Twitch! <laughs> bye, Twitch! Bye-bye. Bye. Good boy, Twitch. There we go, now everybody said it.